All right, so the game has been out for almost a full month now, and not much has been going on. You all probably have played the game and experienced each heist at least once. And now, after dealing with possibly some bugs or glitches here and there, you have become quite bored of the experience. And I don't blame you. Hey, it's Zef. And today, I actually bring you a few ideas of what you can do to make the game less boring in its current state. Or things you can do while waiting for the dev team to iron out the game. If an update has come out by the time you see this video, then I hope everyone has been enjoying it so far. Update? Turns out, they've once again delayed. Or, I guess they haven't delayed, they've more of just said, Hey, we're still working on more stuff we found, and... Yeah, so it looks like we're not going to be getting that update in the middle of October, like they said. Anyway, back to the video. First off, there is a lot of things you can do in the game at this current moment in time. Some of these are quite tedious, such as the do a heist a billion times challenge, and some of the other challenges that are uh, a bit more tedious. But most things in this game can be very fun. If you haven't already, reached level 100 or maxed out a specific weapon, I 100% suggest you try to do this. At least do this before you sort of put down the game for a bit. This will not only unlock all 21 skill points for use in your skill lines, and for any future ones like the transporter in the jack of all trades skill lines that are coming later in the month, but this also allows you to really experiment with builds and with your weapons that you max out. If the grind is one of the biggest reasons for your boredom, I understand that fully. The dev team has said multiple times that they are evaluating possible changes to the progression system. So this challenge-based system they have now might completely change. I hope it does. I don't mind the challenge system, but as the sole way for progressing, I don't really like that. I'm hoping they just split the system where it's like you have a challenge rank and a normal level rank. One shows how much you've progressed through the main game, whereas the other is simply a way to show off. There you go. That's pretty simple. In my opinion, that's what I would do. Anyway, another thing you can do pretty passively in this game is save up a bunch of cash. I fully recommend doing the higher payout jobs for this because <laughs> Dirty Ice and the SCB bank heist don't really pay that well. And while you are saving up money, go ahead and invest into a bunch of C-Stacks. Doing this now will make future content updates where they add new weapons, cosmetics, and such just easier to obtain. Because you will already be quite rich. Speaking of heists, try beating them all on Overkill. At least once. It can be a fun challenge for yourself and friends, if you bring any along which I fully recommend when doing any of these on Overkill Loud. Some heists like Rock the Cradle get much harder in stealth with the addition of more guards and harder zoning. So playing all of them on Overkill, all the heists that is, can be quite fun. If you already have beaten all the heists on Overkill difficulty, why not try and get all the current achievements in the game? With there being only 22 on launch on PC, with, I imagine, many more to come, you might as well get them all while you still can. Because if they did what they did with Payday 2 with achievements, there will be way more achievements on the way. Maybe you have done this. Well, after you get all the achievements currently in the game, not counting the ludicrous challenges they ask you to do, perhaps come up with your own challenges, such as mask-only runs, where you run in mask on right away, and see how far you can get in stealth. Perhaps try a no-kill challenge on all maps, not just touch the sky. Make up your own ideas for what you can do in the heist. What if none of that really sounds fun? Well, if you are on PC, try out some mods. There is a plethora of mods on the Mod Workshop, and they each have something that might suit your gaming needs. From reskins and remodels, to test maps and custom music. There is so much here. And, with how easy it is to mod this game in its current state, maybe try your hand at creating mods. The modding community will probably never cease to exist, so why not try your hand at creating some mods? For instance, 
I decided, because I felt like it, to create a custom phone mod for myself. It's pretty easy to mod this, and if I can do it, you can. So, why not spend some time learning how to mod the game while you wait for more updates? Now, in my opinion, this game was meant to be played with friends. And honestly, this game is extremely fun when just goofing around with friends. So, why not just hop into a game and let loose with some buddies? Some old pals, test out mods together, try builds, and heck, try and survive as long as possible and loud. Or, alternatively, become the boogeyman to the civilian population of New York in stealth. I do want to say sorry though for those who are currently experiencing cross-play issues. I've also been having some trouble with that and playing with some of my cross-play friends and it's quite poopy. Apparently though, they are fixing that, so here's hoping. Alright, what if it's just Payday 3 that's boring you? Well, how about, while waiting for an update, go play some more Payday 2? Or, return to the roots of Payday and play Payday the Heist? Finish up some business there, or finish the story if you haven't already. Perhaps you are new to the franchise. Well, I definitely recommend you go play the older games. They have quite the charm to them even if they have gotten quite uh, wacky with the storyline. All right, so none of that really appeases you. Or perhaps you have done all of that and still wanting more. Well, if an update really hasn't already gone live for Payday 3 by the time you're done with all of that, or you simply don't want to do any of the other stuff I said, I suggest perhaps playing similar games like Payday. There are many games similar to Payday, such as the new, what is it, like, Rock Hay? Uh, I'll, I'll put it on screen, but this weird game. There's also other fun games, and some that actually put a really good unique spin on it, such as Teardown, which is basically a heisting game, with just this teeny tiny little detail of the game being that everything is destructible. So, that can be fun. Perhaps you're more into stealthing, Perhaps you're more into a stealthing game about information and gathering it. Well, Shadows of Doubt is an excellent choice for you, which places you in the shoes of a detective in a randomly generated city filled with crime, deceit, and most importantly, murder. What if you just want to be a criminal? Just a good old thief? Well, Thief Simulator is actually quite fun. It recently released a sequel as well, so you can hop into that game and have some fun stealing things. I will say, it, it, it is quite the asset flip in my opinion, but uh, hey, it, it's still fun. All right, well, perhaps you want something else, something that will occupy this space of emptiness that is Payday 3 content, or Payday content in general. Perhaps you don't even want to play a Payday game right at the moment, and if so, I don't know why you're watching this video, but uh, I do have a suggestion. If you are just bored with Payday games at the moment, understandable. What if, instead of playing those, with Halloween being so close, how about you play some spooky games? Phasmophobia is soon going to have its release on consoles, and will have crossplay, at least so it says. So maybe hop into the ghost hunting game and get spooked, and get spooked with friends as well. Maybe even try Outlast Trials, which is super fun to figure out, and can be quite scary if you don't know what's going on. And just like Phasmo, is also multiplayer. There's also a ton of other Halloween and spooky games out there, some that are free and that are really weird, and there's also some that are really good and pretty cheap. But out of all of the horror games out there that are currently on the market, I suggest one of my favorite no, my most favorite horror game that has ever been released. And how about you try? This game is one of the best horror games ever to be released. And I know that is giving high praise, but to be honest, it deserves it. If you want, you could also watch my playthrough of it. Just be warned, it's not the best quality, as it was recorded and edited on PS5. So, take that for what you will. Anyway, 
I hope you all have enjoyed this video. It was actually suggested by Twiny? Twinny? I don't really know how to say this, but that, this dude, he suggested that it'd be a cool idea to make this type of video, which honestly, I agree, as I relate to being a bit bored with the game at the moment. And don't get me wrong, I love this game and will continue to play it. It just has been a bit boring every now and again. If any of you have any more suggestions for videos or something that you'd like to see, feel free to comment down below what you want to see. Anyway, I know I've said that twice. I wish you all a wonderful Halloween and a spooky morning or evening. Know that you matter. You are cherished by many. And if you do not know many, you at least know me. And to me, you are cherished. I cherish you. Love you all. Stay safe. And I'll see you.